Here is a colorless liquid that looks like water. It has a pungent odor and a burning sweet taste. I drank initially because I was used to feel nervous. I didn't like the taste of booze when I first had it. And then, like, then I realized, oh my God, it makes me super confident. It didn't seem like anyone else needed it like I did. It seemed like they could have one drink and then stop. It didn't seem like it was an itch that you scratched that just created the need for more and more and more. We have in this country now a really big problem with alcohol. I mean, I see people who are drinking a bottle and a half of vodka a day. But if you drank that right now, you might die. The singer Amy Winehouse has been found dead at her flat. Everyone assumes that she died of drugs. In 2011, we had about 1.2 million hospital admissions related directly to alcohol in the UK. It's really unusual to see people in their 20s with liver disease, but it's something that's happening to a whole generation of people in Britain. We're killing our children. We're killing our young people. What else is to do around here? That's the point. Alcohol's not just a young person's problem. We get wasted when we're happy. We get wasted because we're bored, because we're sad, because we're celebrating, because we got married, because we got divorced, because someone was born, because someone died. <laughs> Cheers! In this country, we drink to numb. It's like we've got a spiritual craving, a yearning, and we don't have the language, we don't have the code to express that in our society. There's kind of these countervailing, very deep-rooted forces at work. I'd suggest a different line of questioning. <laughs> we need to wake up to the horrors of alcohol. In Britain today, alcohol is the most harmful drug. It's not a problem, it's what they choose to do. I mean, I've been a drink. If Britain doesn't acknowledge how bad this is getting, I dread to think what's going to happen. What we need to identify is a degree of authenticity and compassion in the way we deal with this problem. And the more people have access to this message, the more the positivity can be conveyed. Available now on Video On Demand.